Hey, thanks for checking out the video. We're talking about You Are Not My Mother, a 2021 horror movie about a girl dealing with her mother who's experiencing some kind of mental illness when she suddenly goes missing and it forces her to take a hard look at their family's history. The movie itself centers on Shar, who is a teenage girl who lives with her mom and her grandmother. We see early on that the mother appears to be going through some kind of bipolar depression and this particular one seems to be a really bad downswing. And so when uh, the mom is dropping Shar off at school one morning, she drops her off and then she makes this cryptic statement about how she can't do it anymore. And then later on in the day, Shar finds that car empty with the doors open, like in the middle of the field. And the mom just disappears. So Shar and her uncle start looking for her, but before they can get anywhere, the next night, the mom returns. And she seems better. She seems to be on an upswing. Shar notices that she's cooking, she's wearing a dress, she's dancing in the kitchen. Like, her old self is starting to return and everything seems okay. But the grandmother seems suspect of the daughter for some reason. And Shar starts noticing some odd behavior from the mom. And eventually that behavior gets more and more erratic until finally Shar realizes that something is going on here and they have to figure that out. Structure and pacing. Those are the two things that were real glaring problems in this movie for me. This movie felt like there was this idea to have a two hour slow burn style film where the story kind of gets pieced together methodically during the course of the film. What we're left with here is the first hour having the structure and the pacing of a longer movie, but then the second hour was just chopped in half and then stuffed together to fit into a 90 minute box. So because that first hour is slowly paced with kind of very little information coming out, and it's really just Shar navigating her home life in school. So aside from her mom's depression and her grandmother's disability, we see that she's having a bit of difficulties at school because she had skipped a grade and now has to deal with all of these new classmates and these bullies kind of arise and got giving her a bit of a problem. Now, once the mom comes back, the movie presents this mystery as to where she was and it puts these different elements in play with the relationship between Char, the mom, as well as the mother and the grandmother. It goes on like that for a while. And then all of a sudden it realizes it needs to wrap things up and quickly ends without really explaining much. And it just feels like they wanted it both ways. An atmospheric, methodically paced film, but then they were really adamant on making it end after 90 minutes. And the log line of the film is a bit deceiving because it talks about how Shar investigates her family's dark secrets. And I even made reference to it in my opening, but she really doesn't investigate much. For most of the movie, she's just observing what is going on. She doesn't really investigate anything. Like, things just sort of happen to her. Most of the first part of the conflict centers more around Char dealing with the bullies than her mother. Then finally, at the one hour, five minute mark, the entire plot is just explained to her by her grandmother. Just, just drops on her all at once. Like, I could see taking that information and either it being learned throughout the course of the film as she sort of actively investigates her family's past or or she learns about it all at, at the halfway mark of the film and then dives deeper to figure out how to stop it. But not everything after an hour into a one hour and 30 minute film, that's way too late. What ends up happening is the mechanics of everything just feel real light on details. All right, I'm gonna get into some light spoiler territory here. So I'll summarize as this. The movie looks good and is acted very well with some genuinely good, creepy scenes and moments. Has some great atmosphere and generates a solid amount of tension and suspense. And the overall story is an interesting one and one I wanted to hear more about. I mean, the film leads off with trying to burn a baby in a circle of fire. Now, that's a hell of a beginning and it got me thinking that this movie was gonna take some gloves off. But the lack of doling out that information within the story as well as its quick ending just kind of left me with a few too many questions. That said, I want to talk about those mechanics that bothered me, or, or, or really things that I just didn't understand and why it seemed to me like there was a longer, more fleshed out story here somewhere. It's revealed in that exposition dumped by the grandmother that her mom is a changeling. First, I still don't really understand what a changeling is. Like it mentions that changelings live in the bog around the town 
and they capture people and switch places with them. But I don't know the lore, and it's never really talked about. Shar's told that the mom was switched in order to come after her, but she never really mentioned why either. She says that Shar was switched as a child, but then they managed to get her back, and now the changelings are coming to get her again. But it's all very vague and kind of brushed over. Like, what was its goal? Is it is it trying to blend in to get other things? Or is it just trying to get Char? Like, if it's just trying to get Char, it's doing a horrible job. And if it's trying to blend in, it's not working because you can clearly see that the mom is slowly going through these physical changes that make it seem like it can't really hide in this body forever. So there was a time limit involved. Also, the line between the mom and the changeling mom is pretty blurred. So the movie starts with the mom being depressed, then she disappears for a day, and then comes back kind of more normal. And it seems like we are led to believe that that's where the change happened. But then we're told that she's done this kind of stuff her whole life, gone through these, these bipolar ups and downs. And then we see after she comes back that there are still times when she gets depressed again, when she's supposed to be a quote unquote changeling. So is she a changeling or is she not a changeling? And this is something the movie could have teased out. They do this very cool thing where a lot of the first part of the story kind of centers on the perspective of Shar and her alone. Like, there's a moment when her uncle asks her to leave the room to talk to a police officer, and the camera leaves with her, and you just hear muffles in the other room. You don't get to hear what is actually talked about, just like Shar doesn't hear. The nice thing about that is it creates a situation where we only know what Shar knows, which opens the door to her possibly being wrong about her mom, and that could have been a story about her suspicions revealing her own mental illness that might be emerging within her like her mom. They could have kept all of this a is it real or is it not real kind of thing and then just sort of backburnered it throughout the course of the film, but they don't. They immediately start switching perspectives during the movie so you know that what Char is saying or seeing isn't imagined. And where do the people go who are taken? The grandmother says that they can get her back if they bring the changeling to a ring of fire and she'll expose her true self. But she seems to expose herself as a changeling before she even gets to the fire. So what's the purpose of the whole fire thing? And, and how do people come back from this? At one point, Char befriends this girl, Suzanne, who's a girl at school who was originally part of this bullying group. But when Suzanne finds out that Char's mother went missing, they end up becoming friends because Suzanne lost her mother years ago when she drowned. She says that her dad goes through the same ups and downs that Char's mother does. Also, at one point the dad tells Suzanne not to hang out with Char because she's not a good kid. So is the dad a changeling or is this something that the town knows about? Was, was a changeling involved with Suzanne's mother as well and the dad is aware of it? I don't know, because the movie doesn't tell us. Why was this horse in the road? <laughs> the mom sees this horse and for some reason looks like she speeds up to hit it, but then turns off at the last moment. But why? And where did Char get this sandwich? Earlier in the day, she mentions there's no food in the house and she asks her grandmother who gives her money for lunch. And then we cut to her lunch and she's eating a sandwich in saran wrap, leading me to believe that it's not bought, it's made. But where did she get that sandwich? I know I just presented a bunch of questions, but if you know where she got that sandwich, let me know. Anyway, the movie itself was a solid effort, but at the end of the day, I just kind of wanted more. I'd give this movie a B. But let me know what you think.